Alrighty guys, quite a few of you are interested in building your own WinPE discs and we're going to be using a WinBuilder. Now WinBuilder is a very powerful tool that allows you to create and customise all your own WinPEs. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our C root directory and create a couple of folders in there. And uh, these are going to be called Win10 and WinPE. You can create yours and call them what you like. They don't have to be in this area, but I like to work in here. So we're going to call one WinPE. This is going to be for Chris R's uh, Win Builder uh, Windows 10 Second Edition build. And the next one is going to be for Win 10, which is for all the files inside our Windows 10 ISO. So that's where they're going to be uh, situated for this video. So let's use 7-Zip to unzip our ISO file, which is our Windows 10 ISO. And we're going to drop those into our Win10 folder in our C root directory. So let's go in there and click on Win10. Then we can extract all these files using 7-Zip. If you haven't used 7-Zip, 7-Zip is a free um, tool that you can use for uh, compressing files and uncompressing files and stuff like that. Okay, And uh, you should be using it because it's free. So we're just going to unzip this. Now what this is going to do is just going to give you a basic... Uh, we're going to go for a basic project, okay? And if you want to add in portable apps and stuff like that, let me know in the comments section below if you want to see more videos on WinBuilder and how to build a complete um, uh, Win, WinPE disk, and I'll try and make those videos for you in some sort of series, okay? So let me know in the comments section if you want to see those. So now what we're going to do here is open up our WinPE uh, tools, which is our project from WinBuilder. And we're going to drop that into our C root directory and in WinPE. This is where all the tools are going to be, or the build from Chris R, who's already created one. So let's unzip this into there. Now these files uh, are not too uh, massive in, in size, but they're obviously Windows 10 is, is about 2.5 gigs or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. You can see we have our Windows 10 files inside here. And in our WinPE, we should have our build, which is our Win Windows 10 PE second edition build for Windows 10, okay? So all we need to do now is click on this or right click and run this as administrator, whatever you want to do. I'm running as administrator here, just to make sure there's no problems. And this will open up the WinBuilder program, as you can see. Now, as you can see on the front here, this is the area where you start to uh, create and you can see there's some information here it tells you exactly what to do it is pretty straightforward uh, but we're just going to go through and have a look at some of the stuff on the left hand side on this little tree here which allows you to change some stuff if you want to so first off let's add our source which is our windows uh, disk or windows files which we've uh, unzipped so we need to go to our c root directory and add in the win 10 there's a folder inside there which has all our files for Windows uh, 10 and you can see that's the version we're using there and now we can see we have that all set up now pretty much we're good to go right here we don't have to do too much uh, we could just run this um, we're just going to go through here you can see these little areas here these are all for um, things that you can change if you want to now first thing I'm going to do is retrieve these tools just in case uh, you get any problems here so I'm just going to download these and show you how it works. So you can download these tools just like I'm doing here by clicking on that download tools. Okay. And uh, you can see there's little uh, arrows over to the right and plugins and stuff you can see here. You can't upload anything because you're not an admin, but basically you can download that plugin from there as well. And there's a little play button here as well. So also that's how you download stuff here and scripts and stuff like that via through this program itself. Now you can add and remove whatever you like as long as it's in with, uh, within reason because obviously if you take out critical files it's not going to work properly and you may run into some error messages if, if, if you start messing around and you're not familiar with using this. As you can see we've got themes here. You can change it up and change the themes if you know what you're doing or, and uh, stuff like that. But you can see here pretty much this is the shell area, a shell loader, uh, explorer shell. You can make changes here. Uh, but what I'm trying to get to here really is it works straight off the bat so you don't really need to make changes if you don't want to if you just want to run it this is how you're going to do it okay don't make changes at all so classic shell you can see here 
add also we've got start 10 if you look at that there and start is back you can change this and I'll show you so for instance it's set to start 10 so if you want to use start is back you will need to uh, go and download that little plugin and there's a little arrow over here on the right hand side so you can download this and it will download the start is back plus script and that's now going to start to download and install that into our location now we can put the tick in there and use that if we want to and remove the start 10 if you wanted to do that I'm just showing you exactly how you can download bits and pieces through this uh, program here now this program is very complicated and uh, if you're not familiar with it but once you get familiar with it it's pretty straightforward and easy to understand now you're going to run into problems and errors uh, that's part and path of building your own WinPE but then you fix those errors and then you sort of get to a point where you need to be which is a complete uh, project which you've completed yourself and you can then share that with others so you can see we've got components here inside here you can add ticks and remove ticks if you want to like the snipping tool and stuff like that if you wanted to add that in you can do um, but some people like a very bare minimum uh, build and put in their own tools so if you don't need a lot of stuff you can see you can change the wallpaper so if you've got like your own computer repair shop you can add in your own wallpaper here and this is where you would put in your uh, custom wallpaper you just put the radio button in custom uh, wallpaper here and then navigate to that location uh, using the browse area here and you will be able to select that we're just going to leave it as default uh, for this video and you can see you can change languages and stuff like that as well there's the power options and stuff like that there's loads of goodies inside this program but this program this uh, video is going to be more of a basic sort of setup how you can get it set up so if you wanted to uh, total commander which is a paid program you will need to purchase that so I'll just show you this quickly here um, basically you can just go here and then you can hit on hit this button and it will download the total commander script here shareware you can see it's a shareware uh, program this one and uh, that's that done and now what we're going to do here you can see a few other bits I'm just going to show you some other bits and pieces I'm not going to spend too much time there is a portable area which may interest some people I try not to use too many portable apps in, in these programs because they do start to uh, grow large in size and you want to try and keep the size down but if you're not too bothered about that you can add portable apps in just here so I'll show you how to quickly uh, add the um, program in but I'm not going to add any portable apps in this build uh, we can keep that for another uh, separate tutorial uh, so you just basically download this uh, little plugin or script as you might want to call them because that's what they are and it will start to install it you can see the project area it's going into and then you can drop in uh, all your portable apps into the list here down below and that will add those programs in you can add them to the start menu and so on but we'll cover all this in another video okay and uh, you can also add icons onto the desktop via this uh, program very useful little program that and uh, what we're going to do here is uh, go through and then start to create our WinPE so another good thing is uh, with these is sometimes people make ones for certain types of uh, jobs or tasks I use them for PC repair so I would have all my data recovery in there and uh, other types of tools inside my WinPE builds and uh, some people just have an array of stuff like a mixture like VLC I'm, I'm not interested in multimedia uh, players and stuff like that I just want to keep it just for uh, computer repair tools only and that's what how I build mine so as you can see here uh, we're pretty much good to go virtual test it's just to test your uh, actual finished article and uh, utilities here are all listed down here you can see the GFX boot and uh, all that sort of good stuff in there uh, which you'll see when we boot up the actual device create um, uh, ISO and also login and administrator this is where you can change uh, those here if you want to do that uh, you would just add in the name above as you can see it's down as administrator and uh, of course you would uh, then enable that by putting the tick inside there and of course add this in here change your name and then download that little plug in there as well uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with it but I'll just quickly show you anyway something of that nature but we can go through more in detailed stuff uh, in other videos if you want to see them you can see the time uh, that that will come up on the screen uh, three seconds 
as you can see there and uh, I think we're just going to leave this as is and uh, we'll continue on so and we're not going to bother testing it here I'll test it in a virtual machine so I'm not going to worry about testing it in this uh, uh, emulator here to test the finished article so we'll just run and push the play button now and what that's going to do is then start to build our ISO and you can see that it's a pretty long process guys so be patient and uh, go make yourself a cup of tea or something and let it finish its job and you will just have a base uh, WinPE uh, disk ready to go and you can put that into uh, a USB flash drive or or burn it to a disk if it's small enough okay and that's pretty much that that's now complete I've speeded that process up and uh, you can see the create ISO here this is how you can change the name of the ISO if you wanted to I missed that part at the beginning and that's basically how you can make changes there. And we can cover all that in another video. So anyway, to boot up to this, you're going to change the uh, BIOS to boot to either CD-ROM or USB uh, flash drive. And then click Save Yes, and you'll get this screen pop up. Push Enter, and it will then start to boot to your WinPE disk. And again, there's not going to be much on this, guys. This is just a really sort of bare bones sort of uh, project, really. Uh, but if you want to add more stuff in, you can do. Uh, you can add loads of bits and pieces. Uh, you may run into problems uh, getting them working sometimes, uh, and create your own scripts and stuff like that. It depends on how advanced you are and how, much, how far you want to go with it. If you're just quite happy just to have a few programs, then you should be pretty okay. But you can see how simple that was, and uh, we're already uh, up good, good to go here. You can see it's already found the network card here, and uh, we should have internet access, and we have. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can see here, pre P Start is already installed. And if we added loads of portable apps in there, they would be accessible from there. And uh, Total Commanders installed as well. And uh, some other bits and pieces. Uh, be be careful when you're using uh, some scripts online. Uh, you want to keep it clean. You don't want any piracy or anything like that. So try not to use any sort of illegal uh, portable apps and stuff like that. Because uh, it's just going to run into problems. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's how you can build your own WinPE very easily, a very basic build. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now.